Good morning. I love the Jesus Calling daily devotional my friend Don gave me. And this morning, there's a really good word I thought I'd read it to you just to start the morning. Come to me with all your weaknesses, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Rest in the comfort of my presence. Remembering that nothing is impossible with me. Good morning, Carmine. Good to see you here this morning. Pry your mind away from your problems so you can focus your attention on me. Recall that I am able to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. Instead of trying to direct me to do this in that, seek to attune yourself to what I am already doing. When anxiety attempts to wedge its way into your thoughts, remind yourself that I am your shepherd. The bottom line is that I am taking care of you. Therefore, you needn't, needn't be afraid of anything. Rather than trying to maintain control over your life, abandon yourself to my will. Though this may feel frightening, even dangerous, the safest place to be is in my will. Verses to refer to are Luke 1 37, Ephesians 3 20 through 21, and Psalm 23 1 through 4. <laughs> That's controversial in and, in and of itself, right? in review. To others of you who are seeking his will and, and seeking his presence on the daily, it's not controversial. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming to take from the world his own. His own is the message title for today. That wasn't gonna be the message title for today. I was looking around on Valentine's Day. I was with a friend and the cable was on. I haven't had cable TV in about three years. No, it's been longer than that. The last time I owned cable television was in 2018. So, you know, three years. So, I was a little shocked what I saw on, on TV. <laughs> Big neon signs. Sex, sex, sex. And people kissing and I mean, really, it was really very sexual, and and um, I was so shocked. I was like, wow, our little children are exposed to this kind of thing. If we have cable television, we have tuned into the perversion of the world. This world is filled with wickedness. I mean, yes, there's perversion, there's there's... <laughs> it's so perverted. Ah. Lord, you are coming to take from this world your own. I want to I want to be known to you. I want you to know me. I want to know you. I want to be the one you are coming for. I want to be your own. I desire to not be of this world, but I desire to be of you, God, to love the truth. Oh, Father. Jesus, 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 the name above all names the one and only name to glorify, the one and only name 
who has all the power. All the power. <sighs> Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence here. Place around us the blood of the Lamb, shield of protection, to guard our heart, soul, body, mind, and our spirit, and let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb, shield of protection, in the name of Jesus Christ. Place on us the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of truth. Shot our feet with the preparation of the gospel, the peace of Jesus Christ. Place in our hand the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, sharper than any two double edged sword. Here it is. Place in our other hand the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, thy kingdom come. Right here. Thy will be done. Yeah. On earth as it is in heaven. Whew. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory, 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 glory. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. He is coming back for his own. We are preparing for him, for his return. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are invited here. Let this be a place of springs. Let this be a place where we drink from your live and active river that flows from heaven, Lord, you are you are precious, Father. Say you're precious. Precious. Jesus. Oh Jesus. I just feel like the Lord's telling someone to guard your heart for out of it flow the issues of life. It's very important these days that we guard our heart. Guard your heart, guard your heart. There is a gross darkness over the world. It's gross. <laughs> the closer you get to the Father, the longer you stay in his presence, the more you fervently you pray, pray, the more time you spend in prayer and in God's presence, the more wisdom and knowledge he reveals to you, especially when you're reading his word. He lifts a veil off of your eyes and off of your ears and you begin to see things that you hadn't seen before. You begin to hear things that you haven't heard before. And the gross darkness over the world, the perverseness, is revealed to you. The more you begin to love the Father, the more you begin to hate the gross darkness and the perversion over the world. <sighs> Come on, I'm talking to someone here. We want to love you like that. Jesus, we want to love you like that. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. We 
to see you high and lifted up. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and who is and is to come. He's coming back for his people. He's coming back for you, his own. More darkness is being exposed because of your love for the light. He is the light. More darkness is being exposed because of your love for life. His word is life and he is the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the word. He is alive and active. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. When we call in thy kingdom right here, we're kingdom people, kingdom minded people. closer you get to him, the more revelation you receive from his word, from him personally. The more wisdom, the more knowledge, he begins to expose perversion. He begins to expose it and you see it for what it is. Gross darkness, gross darkness, it's gross. It's utterly detestable to you when you're loving the Father and you're, you're making him your very, the very thing, the very one you exalt, the very one you worship, the very one you seek every single morning. Oh God, make our hearts drawn to you, Father. Draw us to you you by the power of your Holy Spirit. Expose the things of this world. Expose the things that are not of you. Help those things, help us to see those things as detestable to us and help us to crave your word. Help us to crave and thirst for you and desire more of you. Help us not be hungry for the addictions, for the pornography, for the immorality, the sexual immorality. Help us not be hungry for the food addictions, the alcohol addictions, the prescription drug addictions, the illegal drug addictions, the video game addictions. Help us to be wholly devoted to you and desiring purity, seeking you on the daily. When we do this, the gross darkness exposes itself. We see it for what it is. Come on, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Are you listening? The way to salvation is to turn away from sin is turn away from those things that are not pleasing to God. Turn away from it completely. Stop doing those things. Turn to him. Say, Father, I need you. I need you. I can't do life on my own. I cannot do it. I believe that you came to give me life and life more abundantly. And I don't want to let the thief steal from me. I don't want to, want to let the thief try to kill me anymore. <laughs> it's not funny. The devil is prowling around. He's on the prowl. I want to be hopefully devoted to you, Jesus. his own I want to be like that I want to be like that I want to be one of his that when he comes back and we drop everything and yell hallelujah hallelujah I 
want to be recognizable. I want him to say, hey, I've known you. I've known you. I did this the other day. I read proclamations. We're going to read proclamations again over you and your family. We'll even read Psalm 91 today. Today I choose to agree with God. I am safe and protected. God watches over me and my family. His angel armies shield me from my enemies. I proclaim my family is safe and protected by angelic forces. There is nothing that can stop God's plan for our lives. My children are blessed and success is their future. God's love covers them with a good and happy life. My children will fulfill their purpose and walk in the fullness of all God has for them. I proclaim my children walk in divine relationships. They have the favor of God in all areas of their life. My family is safe and protected. The heavenly hosts stand watch and guard over my family each and every day. I proclaim supernatural provision and the divine manifestation of miracles in my family. Things that have been blocked are now being released in Jesus' mighty name. I proclaim promotion and elevation over my family. I proclaim new doors of opportunity have opened and new breakthrough is here. I proclaim there is greatness in my DNA. My generational lines are blessed and inheritance flows to me and my family. I proclaim my family will agree with God. My children and my grandchildren are safe, protected, and walking in the divine favor of God. I proclaim that God's love flows three freely through me. I meditate on things above and blessings overflow to my family. I proclaim that my children are safe and secure. I proclaim they are protected and shielded from harm. Today, supernatural favor and love surround them wherever they go. My family is blessed and protected. My generations are favored of God. I receive the fullness of my inheritance in God. My family walks in peace and in love. My children are highly skilled and very talented. Their gifts make room for them to succeed. I will speak life and blessings to others. My family is blessed and prosperous. I will speak life to my family and my circumstances. I have the power to bring life to dead situations. I love that. Amen. Dawn says amen. And Julianne's here today. Thank you for your time and dedication. Michelle, blessings to you this morning. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julianne. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. And Carmine. Yeah. Lots of people in the house this morning. I can't see who you are if you are not friends with me on Facebook. But yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your presence here this morning. Let's take a look at Psalm 91. Declare it. Decree it over you and your family. Heavenly Father, we exalt you. We lift your name on high. We give you thank, thank, we have thankfulness toward you. We give you all the glory. We are grateful. We are grateful that we have your name to call on. Safety of abiding in the presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him. I will trust. I am his own. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Is there someone you know that um, they're walking in darkness, they're, they're in, uh, struggling with addiction, they're, they're um, uh, wrapped up in, in perversion, they're, you know, whatever that looks like for them. Is there someone that you know? 
They need God's salvation. <laughs> we pray salvation come in Jesus' mighty name to those people right now. For whoever you're thinking of, we call salvation. Come, salvation. Come to those people. Put laborers on their path. People who would who would physically walk into their life and, and be a witness. A witness of God's glory, of God's beauty. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As we continue on in Psalm 91, verse 7, A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall, look, shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall dread up, tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Is there a pink elephant in the room? <laughs> I don't like pink elephants. Mm -mm. Holy Spirit, come expose those pink elephants. Expose the darkness for what it is. Expose all the darkness. Shine your light on it this morning. We call in salvation. Salvation come. Salvation come. To our loved ones who need you, Jesus. Salvation come to the leadership in this nation. Salvation come in my state, California, in your state, whatever state that is. Arkansas, Louisiana, Florida, New York, New Jersey, Iowa, Nebraska, Alleluia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Jesus name, New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, Nevada, Idaho, Washington, Oregon. Salvation come, expose darkness, Jesus. Colorado. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wisconsin. Minnesota. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Illinois. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to be more like you. Yes, Father. Only change is coming to this set. Change is coming this week by the end of the week. So just be ready for change of scenery back there. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a, a change of format. Lord, help us not stay the same us desire change for the good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he is holy. Holy, holy, holy. I 
bless your day. Bless your family. Speak life. Hallelujah. I'll see you tomorrow.